Hi guys, I hope you're doing well, feeling beautiful and at peace. And let's get started with another edition of the Cannes Film Festival 2023 review. So Cannes Film Festival has finally wrapped up and this May has been a gala of dresses and fashion and new trends. And before we do close up on Cannes, it makes sense to review some of the best dressed ladies in terms of fashion that connects with the general audience. So starting with the Indian ladies, the Indian icons. Okay, so starting with Ashwarya Rai Bachchan, who is of course the one of the biggest fashion viewers ever. I think she has surprised us yet again, you know, with a very different costume this time and her silver gown from Sophie Kushur is the one of the most statement pieces in this entire Cannes Film Fest. It's a big thumbs up because for me, the way she's carrying it, it's not looking over dramatic. It's not looking too plain. It's something that, you know, it's very visually appealing. And, you know, when I first saw the picture, I was like, mm, fashion that connects, where would I be able to, you know, carry something like it? But then when I look more at her, the way she's, you know, walking down the aisle, she's handling that coat very well. I think we can actually, you know, make make it, you know, a statement at one of our grand parties. Let's say if you're hosting a big birthday party, or you actually, you know, do something and you do it to walk a red carpet in your life, then this is definitely a red carpet appearance piece. Big big thumbs up. If we look at Murnal Thakur, so I really love her white gown by Falgani Shane Peacock. The embroidery, the subtle color, the shapes, how it's coming together. I think it's very, very elegant. Again, something you know we can actually imagine wearing at a cocktail party or let's say in a very tight, friendly reception. So it's it's something which is very versatile. It I think it still has a very nice Indian touch. And again, that's something which almost all you know Falgani Shane Peacock costumes they do it so well the fusion between Indian and Western that this one catches my eye and definitely a thumbs up her other outfits if I have to look at her let's say the black one it's nice it's I love the black color the design play but then again I'm not too sure in our daily wear where we'll be you know actually be able to incorporate that so I'm just gonna give it a hold but the the white the white one's killing her dress okay her dress is also very very interesting the white whole uh bodies the white embroidery the whole ensemble that that's so eye catching that in fact this is something i think we should actually take inspiration from again if you want to make a very statement appearance this one definitely also has my eye so those two costumes are a big big thumbs up Okay, so Urvashi Vatela is uh, of course a beauty diva. She is Miss Diva and it reflects in all her costumes. The pink, pink gown is just too amazing. I mean, if I look at that frilly skirt, I myself am in love with those princessy outfits that have those, you know, big frilly skirts and dresses flowing over. This is amazing. And the biggest part is it looks like a birthday cake, but it's not at all gaudy. It's very elegant, it's very classy. That hot pink is just strikingly beautiful. It's standing against the, you know, one of her little pieces of jewelry that she has paired it with. So it's making a very, very visually appe appealing appearance. Visually appealing appearance, yes. And I definitely think that you don't need to be just, you know, waiting for a princessy occasion to wear this. You can actually wear it, you know, at a ballroom dance. So, you know, if I look at this ballroom, dancing, the music, the whole ambience, you know, just fits so well with this you know, gown that I would give it a big, big thumbs up. And I do wish that, you know, if I get a chance, I'll just, you know, be on cloud nine to model in that gown. It'd be wonderful. Okay, so if I look at Urvashi's peacock piece, that is very interesting. I love the whole neckline play. You know, it's like a very cape kind of a neckline that is actually standing out coupled with a tight bodice it's it's a wonderful contrast and it actually makes you make a very statement neckline 
a statement face, it makes your face stand out, but your body is all compact like a Barbie doll. And it's just really, really visually appealing, the shapes, the colors. So the peacock, the wonderful turquoise skirt, it's just sitting so well. It's looking like, you know, a, a cake, a very visually amazing cake. I can actually feel the peacock vibes, you know, from that gown. And of course, her striking makeup, you know, adds to it because if I see her striking makeup, it's just wonderful. The lip color, I think, could not have been better. The big, bold eyes and that amazing choker, it together creates a wonderful ensemble. Big thumbs up. Okay, so her green gown is also very interesting. Of course, visually, it is a piece of art. But then fashion that connects, hmm, I'd have to give it a second thought, so I'm not going to comment much on that. Sara Ali Khan, she took my attention when she actually came to the red carpet with a full desi attire. And I think the way she has embraced Indian fashion is killing. So I just love, love her whole lehenga piece, the way she has actually worn the veil. She has actually brought India, you know, from out on this cans carpet. So I'm just totally loving it. The monochrome colors, of course, Abu Jani Sandeep Khoslaji has, you know, his flavors of doing it and it's just looking so amazing. I would definitely, definitely want to get my hands on that lehenga and actually style it, you know, for any wedding function or even a you know, cocktail function or even office party. I think it just suits any occasion and it brings India into a whole new field. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so Sarah's second outfit is also very eye-catching. Whites and black. I think she went with a whole new, you know, monochromatic color tone this time. It's suiting her a lot. In terms of my wardrobe, I do not, you know, find where I can actually carry this because it's not something which, you know, you don't really want to step out as an ordinary person. So, interesting on her, but for others, I'm not too sure. Okay, so Isha Gupta, her white dress by Nicholas Schaubern with the floral play. Very interesting. I love that, you know, floral and intricate work on it. But just the neckline, you know, in terms of the fashion that connects, it's perfect for cans, it's perfect for, you know, and making an iconic appearance. But for the ordinary person, I wonder if the neckline can be a little more subtle. Then definitely it's going to be a piece that I want to wear. Her black dress, Isha Gupta's black dress, again, you can never go wrong with, you know, a black dress and the way the bodies is. It's amazing, elegant, definitely something that, you know, I feel simplicity at its best is what you can go by. So a big, big thumbs up. Okay, so Manushi Chiller, I think she made her debut this time at Cannes and she just owned it, you know, in all the different costumes that she adorned, the way she paired it with her makeup, her jewelry, her hair, it was just amazing. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to see her on the red carpet and her blue dress, you know, is striking. I just love the pastel colors, I just love the work, I just love the embroidery. It's just such a fresh, refreshing, you know, even like you know, on a hot summer's day, if I just see that photograph of her, I feel so cool and refreshed inside. So wonderful, Mansi. I, sorry, wonderful Manushi. And I do, do, do want a dress like this. I am, you know, really dying for that. So a big, big thumbs up in terms of fashion that connects. Okay, so Manushi's turquoise gown. Amazing, very elegant, that sleek bun. I mean, the wonderful thing about her was that she did not want to go, you know, overboard because it's her first time or do something very different or dramatic. She kept things very simple, very sleek, welly, very elegant. And I think that's one of the reasons almost all her appearances were like fashion that connects with us. And when we see her, you know, we're like, definitely we want to strike a look like this too. So even that gown, the wonderful hair, the bare nude makeup, not much jewelry. It's just everly versatile for anyone to wear at a prom party, at a cocktail party, at an office party, at any party. In terms of the backlessness that you know you can vary based on your comfort level, but the dress is a big, big, big thumbs up for me. Okay, Moni Roy, I just love her choice of dresses and you know the way she styles it is just so wonderful to see. I mean, no, no, I don't know, it just brings a smile on my face and her white gown, when I see that gown, it's just one of those gowns. I mean, the design and the way she's carrying it, the way she's making those expressions, I mean, it's like a whole symphony going on together. I just love the work, I just love the whole heavy 
you know, base kind of a skirt with the feathers, the silver bodies on top. Again, reminds me of, you know, Barbie times. It's the classic fashion. It brings back a lot of memories. And something that, yes, you know, if you are the bride or if you are having an engagement party where you want to be the center of, you know, attraction, center of attention, you want to feel special, you want to feel, you know, that princess who comes from Cloud9, this dress is a must for you. And I think every girl deserves to have a dress like this in her wardrobe for her special day. So a big, big thumbs up. Okay, so Diana Penty by Falgini and Shane, that wonderful two-piece attire, I think, could not have been better. It, the, the color play, you know, you have those, the, the khaki, the muddy base with all those colors and the amazing, you know, neckline, you know, it's all embroidered and so you don't, it's all the, the heavy embroidery, so you don't need to have a lot of makeup on top or a lot of jewelry. It's, it's pretty classic. And definitely something that, you know, I think all of us can look for wearing you know, at a friend's party or at a party where you just want to keep things subtle, yet very, very statement-like. I don't know if I'm contradicting myself here. But there's, uh, there's a special attraction in subtleness, I feel. And this dress represents that very, very well. Big, big thumbs up. Okay, before we wrap up, some international celeb celebrities that I want to point attention to. Elle Fanning. Okay, her feathery dress, that silver play is just so amazing that when I saw that post on Instagram, I was like, is that like a dress? Is it like a piece of art? Is it like, you know, you have painting? I couldn't make out that and that's why I think makes it makes it even more special. It's a wonderful, wonderful party dress where you have the disco lights on, you want to just, you know, put your hair down and dance the night away. Too good. It is a fashion that connects. Probably what you might want to vary is again, the whole neckline. Do you want to, you know, kind of keep it a bit, uh, you know, not too over the top. That's up to you, uh, you know, as per your comfort level, but definitely a dress that connects. Big, big, big thumbs up. Jennifer Lawrence, I really like her whole red, you know, attire. I think you can never go wrong with the red. It's a very classy color. It's a very striking color. And with her minimal jewelry, I think that's what it's giving its you know, elegant look because oftentimes, you know, red just deserves to be left, you know, solo. Not too much jewelry, not too much makeup, not too much, you know, for hairdo. Just let the reds speak their story. So wonderful. It's a very clean, it's a very symmetrical, it's again, you know, subtleness, subtleness and beauty here. Wonderful, definitely a red dress like this. If you have it in your wardrobe, again, a very versatile piece. Big thumbs up. Okay, fellow big Julia Fox, I again love that, you know, the gown, that red carpet gown is just striking and it makes me feel that yes, I do, I do want a gown like this. Even though, again, you have to have the, you know, the center of attention to be wearing this, but I still think that this is a gown that every girl should have. So if you want to, again, make a very statement piece, the whole fabric play here, the big ribbon here, again, a very Barbie feel, this is something you can go for. Of course, makeup depends on, you know, how much you want to make an appearance. She had a very, you know, bold lip kind of a makeover. If you want to give it a little bit nude, a little bit nude, Nude makeup, that's also fine. It depends on your needs and your preferences, but definitely this dress, I think, should get a big thumbs up. Okay, last but not least, Gigi Hadid. Again, that whole brownish, you know, figure dress. It's just amazing. You know, it's solid colors with a little, you know, heavy jewelry piece on top. Too good. This is something, again, very classy, very subtle. You can pair it, you know, at an office party. Have an awards function like this, of course, you know, it's 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 really, really soothing colors and it's actually, you know, giving your appearance a more glowy feel. I think it brings out our features very well because brownish, grayish are such colors which make us the center of attention. So a very, very good choice there. Big thumbs up. And that is a wrap then, guys. We've covered a lot of costumes. Of course, there's too much galore to cover, but I think we'll keep it short and sweet. And then, you know, saying a big wrap up to Cannes and looking forward for next year's more fashion videos. Bye-bye.